Hello friends, today I'm going to tell you an interesting topic which is telomere, telomerase and interoplication problem. So let's get in. The normal cell has a limited number of divisions in its entire life. After ending this limited number of divisions, the normal cell becomes senescent and will not divide anymore. The question here is, why there is a limited number of divisions to the cell? The answer is, because of the presence of something called a telomere. The telomere here is a red color cap at the end of chromosome, as shown here in this picture. At each time the cell divides, a piece of this telomere will be cut, until the whole telomere will be cut, and thus the cells become senescent and there is no way for division anymore. And for more simplification, imagine with me. Telomere is like group of tickets the normal cells possess. Once the cell wants to divide, it causes the cell to consume one of these tickets. Until all tickets are finished, then the cell becomes senescent and no divisions will happen again. So first, we need to know more about telomere. Telomere is the cap at the end of the chromosome. It consists of six nucleotides, which are T, T, A, G, G, G. This sequence, T, T, A, G, 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 is repeated approximately 2,500 times. The function of the telomere is, first, separation between chromosomes and prevents the fusion between chromosomes. Second, chromosome and DNA protection. As we said, after each cell division, a piece of telomere will be cut. So imagine with me, there is no telomere. So now, when the cell divides, it may cut off genes instead of a piece of telomere, and that causes a lot of mutations. So the presence of telomere protects the DNA and chromosome. Before we know how a piece of telomere will be cut after each cell division, let's talk about DNA. As we know, DNA consists of nucleotides. The nucleotide consists of sugar, phosphate group and nitrogenous base. Nitrogenous base like adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine. The OH of the sugar is very important to add another nucleotide for DNA synthesis. So let's show how. The OH of the phosphate group of one nucleotide interacts with the hydrogen of OH of the sugar molecule of another nucleotide and water removed and then form bond between the phosphate group and the oxygen of another nucleotide. And for more simplification, this is a nucleotide and this is a free OH which is responsible for the addition of the new nucleotides one by one for the DNA synthesis by the bond formation between the phosphate group and the oxygen of the OH of another nucleotide. DNA replication happens once the cell divides because when the cell divides and gives two cells, the two cells must have a copy of DNA. As we know, DNA is a double strand and anti-parallel to each other, which means if one strand goes from 3' prime to 5', prime, the other strand goes in the other direction from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. The strand goes from 3' prime to 5', prime, we call it leading strand, and the strand goes from 5' prime to 3', prime, we call it lagging strand. The DNA replication starts when the DNA polymerase comes. The DNA polymerase is an enzyme which forms a new strand in the direction of 5' prime to 3'. Prime. So the DNA polymerase acts on the leading strand to form the new strand of the 5' prime into the 3'. Prime. And this is an OH which enables me to add nucleotide 1.1. One one. The problem here on the lagging strand, it was supposed to add a new strand on this direction. 3' prime to 5' prime. But DNA polymerase cannot add nucleotides from 3' prime to 5' prime. DNA polymerase only add nucleotides from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. How does it happen? When primase enzyme comes. This primase enzyme is an enzyme responsible for adding a primers. Primers are short nucleotides, about 5 to 10 nucleotides, which are complementary to lagging strand. And it is OH, which enables me to add nucleotides in this direction, 5' prime to 3 prime which is the direction of DNA polymerase to add nucleotide. So now DNA polymerase add nucleotides from 5 prime to 3 prime and then primer removed and then come another enzyme called DNA ligase which links between new nucleotides. And this is what happened in the beginning of the DNA. And now let's see what happened at the end of the DNA. As we said, DNA polymerase has no problem to act on leading strand to add new strand from 5' prime to 3' prime because of DNA polymerase can add nucleotides from 5' prime to 3' prime end. But the problem here on the lagging strand, the main problem is on the right primer because when the right primer removed, it's a place remain empty. So let's show how. The green lines are the primer and DNA polymerase adds nucleotide from 5' prime to 3' prime 
am end and then primary moved and then the DNA ligase links between the strand or the new nucleotides. So it's clear now because when the right primary removed, its place remain empty. And we know the ends of the DNA is a telomere and the sequence TTAGGG. So by each cell division, a piece of telomere will be cut. By this way, the right primer will removed and its place become empty. And this is what happens to the normal cell. After each cell division, a piece of telomere will be cut until the whole telomere will be cut and the cell becomes senescent and no division will happen again. But why cancer doesn't have a limited number of division? Although it have a telomere, why the cancer still divide? Because the activation of the enzyme called telomerase. Simply, telomerase is an enzyme which is responsible for elongation of telomere. Even if cancer cell divides, telomere doesn't shorten because there is an enzyme called the telomerase elongate this telomere. How does it happen? Let's say how. This box in the right is a telomerase. This telomerase goes to the lagging strand. The telomerase have an RNA sequence. The RNA sequence here is AAUCCC. And telomerase has a reverse transcription activity, which simply converts the RNA sequence into a DNA sequence. So when the telomerase attached to the lagging strand, the RNA sequence AAUCCC will convert into a DNA sequence TTAGGG which is a telomere sequence. And now primer comes, and DNA polymerase adds nucleotide from 5' prime to 3'. Prime and elongate the telomere, and thus there is no shortening. And that makes cancer cells to divide without any limitation. That's all we have in this lecture. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.